I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today we are making the Jam Jar Happiness Blanket. And we are on week four. So we are making a single bed size blanket with the Jam Jar Happiness Yarn Pack. The way the blanket is built is that each week we do 30 rows. These 30 rows are made up of five rows, which we repeat six times. I am going to show you the five new rows for week four. I'm going to continue working on my sampler and I hope you are too. Now, it will be a really good idea to keep your sampler to try out the border later on because we are approaching that week very, very fast. Now remember, you will have finished in a different color than I have because of course you are adding a lot more rows and colors to your blanket. I believe you have ended in vintage rows. Are you ready for week four and some more color floral happiness? I do hope you will enjoy the process and enjoy crocheting. And without further ado, let's get started. So week four is called Buttercup. And yes, buttercups, they were a favorite of mine too and of my children. We were always picking them and putting them in a jam jar in the kitchen. Don't they just look lovely? Those bright yellow, perfect little blooms. Yes, we really enjoy buttercups. So let's get started on row one. So we have here pistachio. And we are going to pull it through. And then we are going to do a chain one. We turn. And we're going to do a double crochet in each stitch. So, of course, we have to contend with our V stitches here. So let's get started by putting one double crochet in that very first stitch. Then one double crochet into the double crochet of the V. And then of course here you do have a chain space. So we place a double crochet there, then into the stitch, into the stitch and around the chain space. So basically you work with what you've got. And off you go doing your whole row like this. So I am just doing my last stitch here, but of course don't finish it because we are changing color. So cut off the yarn. And we are going to start row two, which is in pumpkin. And you're going to pull through that color. So in this row, we have done 194 double crochets. So, row two, chain one, turn, double crochet in the first stitch to get started. And then we are going to chain one. Then we are going to do a stitch of three double crochets together, three. So that means we do three double crochets together, but we don't place them in one stitch, we place them over three stitches. So we're going to be working along the three stitches here. So yarn over, place your first double crochet in the first stitch, but don't finish it because of course it's a together. So we finish them all together. Do your second one in the second stitch. Again, only half of the double crochet and the third one in the third stitch. There we go. So you now have three half finished double crochets and your loop, so you have four loops on your hook. You yarn over and now you pull through the four loops on your hook. Now we chain two, one and two. So this is going to be our repeat. Three double crochets together over three stitches, chain two. So same thing again, into the next stitch, into the next one for the second double crochet, 
into the next one for the third yarn over pull through all the stitches one and two and this is how you are going to continue all along your row and in the end you should have 64 clusters now you will notice that when you get to the end you just have the one stitch left and I will meet you there I'm just finishing my last cluster and indeed I have one stitch left this is of course the stitch for our double crochet but in the beginning we did one chain in between the double crochet and our cluster so we're going to end the same way so do one chain and then you do your double crochet and of course here we are ready to change color so cut off the arm and we are going to go to eucalyptus so first of all, let's pull the eucalyptus through our stitch so we are ready to get started. So we now have in this row 64 clusters. On to row three. So chain one, turn, one double crochet into that first stitch there as usual. Then we are going to do one double crochet around this chain space here. There we are. And then we are going to place three double crochets in each chain space. Okay, so it's really simple. Three double crochets in each chain space. And I will meet you at the end. this row you're going to have to place two double crochets in this chain one space as well okay otherwise we don't have enough stitches so we place two double crochets there and then also of course the usual in the last stitch don't pull it through okay and this now gives me the number of stitches your 194 and my 32 that I need for this row so we're going to cut off the yarn and our next color is mustard. So let's get going with that one. And we are going to be doing a row of double crochets. So pull it through, chain one and turn and do your first double crochet. And then all you're going to do is place double crochets into the stitches of the row below. So tip the work towards you so you can see the V's for you to pick up. And of course, you're going to do 194 of them. I will see you at the end of the row. made it to the last stitch here doing my double crochet but not pulling it through so ready to cut off the yarn <laughs> my scissors are going on strike it seems <laughs> then we have the next color of spring meadow so pull through the spring meadow chain one turn and we do our double crochet 
and then we are going to get started in a repeat of three double crochets together. So there's no number at the end of this little description of three double crochets together. So that means it is done in one stitch. So we're going to yarn over into the next stitch here. We're going to do a double crochet, only finish it half. Yarn over into the same stitch for another one. And yarn over into the same stitch for another one. Then you have four loops on your hook. You yarn over and you pull through all four. Now we are going to chain two, one, two, then we skip two and we work in the third one again for a three double crochet together. So doing our three half finished double crochets until we have four loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through the lot. Chain two, skip two, into the third for yet another one. And this is how you are going to continue your row. So I'm just doing my last cluster here. Then I am going to chain two skip two and then of course i have here that last location left for my double crochet there we go so i now have 10 clusters you will have 64. so these are the five rows of week four so first of all we do a row of double crochets then we do the three double crochet together over three stitches which i like to call upside down clusters then we do a row of clusters, basically. Then we have our double crochet row again. And then here we have our three double crochets together, but in one stitch this time. So let me now show you how you're going to put your row of double crochets on top of this row here. So for row 96, the color is Koala. And so this is back to row one for week four. And I'm just going to show you how to do it onto row five here. So chain one, turn, double crochet in the first stitch. And then of course you have chain two spaces to deal with and you have stitches here that have a together. So what I suggest you do is you place two double crochets around the chain two, because of course they count for two stitches. And then this one here counts for one stitch. So you tip it towards you. You see the bigger V, which is the one that you created when you pulled them all together. And in there, that's where you're going to place your double crochet. Then once again, two double crochets into the chain space and one into the together. And this is how you will continue your row. And so this is how you're going to do your row one when you, of course, place it on top of row five. Make sure you go to the blog post to find out what the other colors are for this week. The link is in the description box, which will take you to the blog post with the written pattern and the table for the colors. Make sure, of course, you also check the key. The colors are from the Jam Jar Happiness Yarn Pack, which we have available on our website. It will be a permanent pack on our site. So if you want to make this blanket later on, if you want to remake it, you will have all the videos and patterns available to you to use in the future. Also remember, after the project is finished, there will be a nicely embellished pattern for you to buy from our website. I do hope you will enjoy the process and enjoy crocheting. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!